Well, if you're looking for one fighter in an alley to save your life, you could probably do worse than this man as we welcome back the UFC middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. A lot of people think his ceiling is championship and that eventually this man will be the undisputed UFC middleweight title holder. Seems to be a great stylistic matchup against a lot of these guys. He has power, he has speed, he has toughness, a chin that allows him to be aggressive. And when he's aggressive, he is at his athletic best. He is a total athletic freak off the charts. And tonight, trying to prove to people that he is a force to be reckoned and true, one of, if not the best middleweight to be. Bohashinia Paolo Costa steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. So here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has bullets in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbul in his corner. And if Hasbul didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov ready to engage yet again here tonight. Tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Paolo the Eraser. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Mimagomeda! One of the best in the business, Herb Dean is our referee today. Ready. Good. He is undefeated, he is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, and what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division, and Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. All right, north-south position now, we'll see who transitions first. Khabib's going for an arm here. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Making all these shots count. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Costa maintaining position here. Just over three minutes to go. Costa's back inside control here. 
He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nermago Medoff's right back to the full mount. Triangle that looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, feeding the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Oh, that looks tight. 90 seconds to go in the opening round. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. He's got to be careful here. And now he's got the back. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Pass the half guard. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep Ready submission. Ready. Second round here. Clipped him with a right hand there. Misses with the straight right. Takedown defense holds up. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him in the body that clean. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Trading game shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. Nurmago Menov is able to transition back to side control now. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. Starting to get pretty deep here. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. He passes the half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, nice. Great shot from the top position. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Well, his superior trying to set up the choke here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, come on. That has got to be it. Oh, hang on a second. He escaped. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock, create some space, roll to your back, give up the mouth, but live to fight another day. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. 60 seconds. Finish strong. Under a minute to go.
He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, nice elbow. Mago Medoff's looking for an arm bar here. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage. The other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. When you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Body shot. Oh. Nice shot. Nice shot. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace. And a huge punch being landed there. Oh, nice takedown. Yep. Nice transition. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Nice punch to the head. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, full guard now, DC. And put a guy on top. He needs to build posture. Or... Just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. One minute. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, right into Mount. for a submission here. Oh, it's getting deep. He's got it locked in. And there's the oh! Result here tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out and
Omar. You heard it there from Bruce Buffer. Khabib Nurmagomedov, your winner by...